how to calculate uh, the magnitude or modulus of a vector given that x is equals to i plus j minus 2k y is equals to 3 uh, negative 3i plus 4j minus k and z is equals to negative 5i plus 3j plus 2k and that p is equals to 4x minus 2y plus 3z find the magnitude of a vector p to three significant figures so that is the question so let's go to the solution and see how we're supposed to solve that question. So x is given by 2i plus j minus 2k. So we shall write this um, vector in column form by taking the coefficients of i, j, and k. So the coefficient of i is 2, the coefficient of j is 1, the coefficient of k is negative 2. And then we write it as a column vector. So that is the first thing. So we do the same for y and also for z. So let's do the same for y. So y is given by uh, negative 3i uh, plus 4j minus k is equals to so the coefficients are negative 3 that is for i and then 4 for j and negative 1 for k those the vectors are supposed to be in that order i j and k just in case they are disorganized when you're writing it in column form we should ensure that when you're writing the first one is i the second j and the last one k so let's write um, z z is equals to negative 5i plus 3j plus 2k so picking the coefficients all of them are in the right order i j and k so the coefficients are negative 5 that for i are 3 that is for j and 2 that is for k so now we have written the three vectors in column form now let's go to p we're given that p is equals to 4x minus 2y plus 3z so let us uh, write that so p is equals to 4x minus 2y plus 3z now since we've got the column vectors for x, y, and z, we now insert uh, those vectors in the equation. So like for x, we got uh, 2, 1, negative 2. So we just uh, substitute it there, 2, 1, negative 2. Then for 2y, 2, then we insert for y, the column vector for y, that is uh, negative 3, 4, negative 1 negative 3, 4, negative 1. And we'll do the same for 3z. So plus 3. Then insert the column vector for z. Which is uh, negative 5, 3, 2. That is uh, negative 5, 3, and 2. Now we have uh, substituted everything. Now we open the brackets by multiplying everything. Like in the first case. Multiply everything inside the bracket by 4. So 4 times 2, 8. 4 times uh, 1, 4. 4 times negative 2, negative 8. Then um, do the same. Uh, 2. 2 times negative 3, negative 6. 2 times uh, 4, 8. 2 times negative 1, negative 2. Then uh, plus... Uh, everything multiplied by 3 there, negative 15, 3 times negative 5, 3 times 3, 9, and um, 3 times 2, you get 6. Now, uh, after doing that, we now add uh, the first row, there are 3 rows, we add the first row, that is uh, 8, uh, subtract negative 6, that is the first row, plus negative uh, 15 that is for the first row uh, for the second row we have um, 4 
subtract 8, add 9. That is second row. Then the third row, we have negative 8, subtract negative 2, plus 6. Should be very careful with the integers in this uh, step. Then from there, we add 8, subtract negative 6 will be 8 plus 6, uh, plus negative 15 will be negative 15. And then the second row, we have... Um, That is uh, given by 4. We start by addition. We just write it like that. Then we shall do it later. 4 subtract 8 plus 9. Then uh, negative 8. Negative. Uh, is subtract negative 2. We get positive 2 plus 6. Then um, the first one. 8 plus 6. Uh, subtract 15. Addition should come first. Subtraction last. So that will give uh, 14 minus 15. Negative 1. Then the second row. Be careful there. We add first, then subtract. So 4 plus 9, subtract 8. We get uh, 5. And then the other one is um, negative 8 plus 8, which is 0. So we now have negative 1, 5, and 0. So if we substitute that and write it in terms of vector i, j, and k, p should therefore be negative i because of negative 1. Then uh, 5 is 5j plus 0k. Now, that is uh, what you get. Um, now, the question is uh, finding the length of that vector or the magnitude or what we call the modulus. So, to get the magnitude, this is what you do. We just take the coefficient, like the coefficient of i negative 1 squared plus the second for j, 5 squared. Then um, for k, you have 0, the coefficient is 0. We take the coefficients, we square them, we get their sum, and then the square root. So you get uh, 1 plus 25, you get the root of uh, 1 plus 25, which will give the square root of 26, and that will give five to three significant figures, which will be 5.099. That is how we're supposed to solve that question on magnitude of a vector.